This is called tteokbokki. Tteokbokki is like the quintessential Korean street food. Tteokbokki. 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 I've watched too many of these videos! I need to see what the hype is all about! Mikuk Namcha. We're here at AC Plaza, the only place that sells this kind of stuff. It's time to make tabagi! And corn cheese. The shopping list looked pretty simple. There were a couple of unfamiliar ingredients, but we only had to find eight things. Easy, right? We gotta find dried anchovies. The anchovies. The anchovies. Gochugaru, we got this. Oh. You want all of this? You know, we have Gochugaru to last a lifetime. Do they have a smaller bag? Because I could really go for a smaller bag of this stuff. All right, this is good for now. Tapaki, or duck. Put this dried kelp. Dashima. There, corn. Soya, corn. corn. Take the corn. Corn. Mozzarella, Sargento. Got a more exciting brand than I'm watching him do. Now that was a record setting pace, possibly one of the fastest shopping trips I've ever experienced. We were in and out of there faster than a horse in a wood chipper. Well, I'll admit it, I got a little distracted along the way. They have, they have Milkis. Where's Milkis? RM, that's a BTS guy. Roasted leather jacket. What are you gonna use MSG for? MSG for you know what Dwenjang is? Samjang. Oh, they have Omoboshi. Can we get Omoboshi? Can we get that big yellow yam? It's like a tree trunk. Look at these boys. Look at Ghana yam. Malanga cocoa. I haven't seen those in a while. Look, look. Name. It's fresh turmeric. That's good for you, Gory. You should try it. Mr. Chips. Look at that, Gory. It's Mr. Chips. Pau de queijo. Make an effort, baby. Pau de queijo. See how they spell it? Topoki. And we spell it dokbuki and all that fun stuff. I don't know why that happens. Cause I didn't get to talk to the Korean professor about why these things happen. Shumai dumplings. You know the, the, the guy who has that cat channel? No, I don't. Russian guy and goes That's entertaining. Bee pollen. You want bee pollen? Eucalyptus, Corey. You want to be a koala? koala no. Koala. Koalas like kill themselves because they eat food. <laughs> Pounded yam. What country is that? Is that Nigeria? I think that's Nigeria. Corey pot. What size? Pot. What size? Pot. Pan. Pan, actually. What size? Big pan. Right, Corey, uh, four cups of water. We're following Mangji's Stoppy recipe. Stoppy time. We're gonna heat up that wat there. Next up, we gotta put some chovies and some kelp. So Mangji used some big old anchovies. We didn't want to buy that big of a thing. She used the big bo seven of the big boys, and she had to de-head them and de-gut them. Oh my god, that's, that's chovy. Smell that. I'm good. Smell those chovies. So we're gonna do Fish, yeah. about what the equivalent of seven chovies would be. Seven big chovies. I think that's about right. That should be enough chovies. Now this is the dried kelp. Mangchi used a piece big enough to like completely fill the pan. That's what I'm gonna do. Holy heck, that doesn't look edible at oh, all. Looks like slate. It looks like plastic. Plug that guy right in there. Oh. And yeah, let's put a little bit in there too. Believe it or not, that's not the bag, that's the kelp. <laughs> Look at this kelp. It's from the sea. You can make a kelp block out of that. We're gonna boil this stuff for 15 minutes, which means waiting for it to boil. While we're doing that, I can make the tapi sauce. So, bowl. What? What bowl, size? What size? Bowl. Bowl. I refuse to work under these conditions. Bowl. <laughs> I'm gonna taste a little bit of gochujang. It's like sriracha, but not. Awesome. It's got a kick to it. From here, I can see the entire kitchen at once. We're gonna make some spicy pop here, so we need a third cup of this jazz. Look, Corey, it's like the forbidden ketchup. Alright, there's the gochujang. Corey, go wash all that hot pepper stuff out of there. Try some, it's good. Alright, then we need a tablespoon of gochugaru. 
This is Gochu Guard. Get really close in there, Aaron. Ugh, yeah, let's uh, get. Let's that. wait. Hold up. Look let's... at that Gochu Guard. It's 3D. All right, so here we go. Aaron, this is good old sugar. You should know this is an American. All right, let's mix up Gochu John. Yeah, let's get like super zoom. It's there, super man. zoom in, Aaron. Hear that noise? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a text. Who's this from? Hey, Joseph. It's Kevin from Bernie 2020. I have a job for you. I want you to take three green onions. Okay. Clean, or clean all of those, actually. Now we're gonna chop those into three inch long pieces. While we're waiting, Aaron, you know what we can try? That's powerful. Sour cream and onion. These are fake Pringles. These are Fingles. Freeze frame. Ugh. Oh, you want a Fingle? I love Fingles. You know what else we can try, Aaron? Yeah? Milkus. Oh God, you have to explain what this is it's first. It's milk soda. That doesn't explain anything. Ooh, it smells like Sprite. All I know is that Tom Holland okay. liked this, and he's Spider-Man, so you have to listen to him. I approve this. That's actually a very compelling argument. Wouldn't you say, Sasha? All right, Aaron, come try some Milkus. Heck yeah. Looks like dishwater. It, it really does. Ooh, it really looks terrible. Let's see if it tastes like this water. Great. It's like a creamy now, Sprite. Just take a look at... Just like cream soda. Holy heck, that's really not bad at all. Of course it's not bad, it's milkus. That's, but it's such an awful concept. Why it's does really, it work? It's like a cream to Sprite. Tom Holland, you've done it again. Spider-Man, <laughs> Josh and Ollie, thank you. No, 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 you cut that way too far. We want these bits. Those Why bits would are you good. those bits? They look awful. Cause that's, uh, shut up. So what's three inches, Corey, about this much? Can you shrink your hands a bit? They get in the way of the camera. Right. No one ever said you could have too big, small of an onion piece. That's an ancient Korean proverb. This is like when you go in the pool and the shorts inflate. We're gonna make the corn cheese mixture. Corey, bowl. We got Goya corn. It's gonna Fancy. be, it's frozen corn, but it'll thaw in the oven and as we cook it. Scissors, please. This is like two bucks, this whole bag of corn, so. All right, here's one cup of corn. One and a half cups of corn. Are you a corn fan, Aaron? Not really. I'm a, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with corn. I, I'll allow it. Corn. Two and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise. Is this tablespoon? This is tablespoon. Corey, mayonnaise. It's in the fridge. Get it. Where is the mayo? Where's the Mayo Clinic? It's in Minnesota, by the way. Why? I don't know. Ask the Mayo family. Why they? Oh, is that why it's called the Mayo Clinic? What do you think it was actually named after mayonnaise? I don't know. It actually was named after mayonnaise. This is my hospital. All mayonnaise talks in a terrible Dutch accent, by the way. That's your, leuk weetje, for the day. Van morgen ting. Max, 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 super max, max, super, super max, 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 super max, max. Two and a half tablespoons of mayo. I like mayo, so I might make that three. We'll see how Let's not do it. Mayo's good. This is just over two and a half tablespoons of mayonnaise. What else do we have to add to this little guy? We're using Sue from My Korean Kitchen. She says to add a little bit of bell pepper. We're not doing that because bell peppers suck. <laughs> One half tablespoon sugar. So we do need the sugar back. Corey, you get the sugar. Half tablespoon of sugar. We have a whole tablespoon here, so I'm going to, like all good chefs, estimate. Everything. I'm gonna go light on the sugar because we got a lot of corn in there. And then they say a few sprinkles of salt and pepper. Sprinkle. Pepper is not spicy, Corey. Watch this, Aaron. Let's do it. Mayo corn sugar. As simple as it gets. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna put that in a pan with some cheesy wheeze on top of it later. Right now we're focusing on... Dumpergy! Corey, bring the trash can over here so I can just drop all this stuff straight in. <laughs> Why do you need a trash can for it? Because I need to throw Oh, were you just doing this to flavor the broth? That's what a broth is, Aaron. All right. All right. It's Let's... been about 15 minutes. Our stock is finishing up. Let's get the big wet kelp rag out of there. This is what it's like to live by the sea, Aaron. Uh, All these you know what, maybe, like, I'll just, maybe I'll just stay where I am in that case. It's like Kafka on the shore. Fish are falling from the sky. Talk about Kafka Thanks on problems. the shore right now. Kafka on the shore is the strangest book I've ever read. It's just, it's bizarre. It's, it doesn't make any sense. He just like writes things that don't make sense in reality and is like, all right, figure them out. Uh, look at that green color, Aaron. It looks like seawater. Oh, that looks more yellow to be honest. All right, we got our, we got our broth moving. Next up, it's time for the big step. We're gonna add the duck. She wants a pound of duck. 
So this is our thuck that we found at Oxy. How many ounces? Six times 3.5. 21. 21. Pound is 16 ounces, so we're gonna use a little bit less than the whole bag. It's about enough thuck in there. Let's gotta zoom in on that. This is not an exact cooking process. You can pretty much do what you want here. We're gonna add the, look at that, Aaron. Get right in there, look at that Yeah, mixture. let's zoom in fully all the oh, way. Look at that. Oh, that I smells. I was not able to follow that with the camera. I told you we should've got Wes Anderson. Or Quentin Tarantino. Dude, that guy we might be able to get. We got our two to three inch green onion pieces here, Elwin. Ah. Dump them all in there. Let's then, take a look at that. This is what tapaki is. This. Rice cakes and a spicy sauce. Oh, I don't like spicy food. Hey, By me. the way, you just didn't mix up those pieces. Those, guy, those guys are stragglers. Those guys got you in there. This is starting to smell like food, Aaron, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like food, too, honestly. This is going to cook until the rice cake turns soft and the sauce thickens and looks shiny, which should take about 15 minutes. So while we're doing that, Corey, give me that red pan. Boop! All right, the butt is nice and melted, Aaron. We're gonna dump some little, little cornies covered in mayo. Look at this POV uh, shot. Dump. Uh, uh. This is Jeopardy. The third Jeopardy category is translated cities. The name of this city in Ethiopia translates to new flower. What is Addis Ababa? You're right. Aaron, we're gonna dump about eh, a good amount of cheese on there, about half the bag. Doesn't have to be too even, it's just cheese. And I think these are done. So we'll just leave these on very, very low heat until the cheese corn is done in the oven. Powerful. Even it out. There we go, Aaron, that's cheese corn. Almost though, it's not done yet. Ooh, shoot. It has both cheese and corn. Both Who would have thought? Both cheese and corn. Who, who would have thought? Corey, did you think? Is that unsafe? Impressive. But look at this, Aaron. We made topagi. We did it. We made topagi. That looks actually pretty good. Thank you, Mom Chief. Thank you, Asi. And I'm actually pretty hungry, so I would like to eat that, yes. It's the spicy sauce. You know what? Never mind. You see that corn cheese, Aaron? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Look at that. That's like a pizza. Should I stop filming there? now? Are you going to use... Yes. Wrong. Right. Wrong side of right. Look. The time has stopped. come, kids. This isn't top ghee. This is corn cheese. Look at that, guys. What a rip off. I was probably on top of ghee. You lied. Three you. seconds. Oh, there you One go. Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Top of ghee! Top. That looks taste. Scoop up some topagi for all of us, Aaron. What if I don't live this way? This is my die, Corey. This is hot cut after. You, you either you either live or you die. That's what they say. You either live or you die. It's, it's like it's the texture of a gnocchi. Wow, that's pretty spicy. Mm, it's good. It is actually quite good. It's got like that sriracha flavor. Yeah, this is legitimately good, except for it being spicy. <laughs> it's not that spicy. One out of ten. No, I'm kidding. It's really spicy. It's not that bad. It's right there. Water doesn't help, but I get milk. It does help. It does help. Well, Aaron, do you know what has milk? Corn cheese. Let's Actually, give it a try. that's true. That can be a good Ow. counter. Ah, handle's still hot. It's probably right. hot, so make sure blow on it. Oh, it's very hot. There's lots of hot cheese oils in there. Okay. Eat the corn, Corey. Don't be a baby. No, I hate corn. Just try it. Try it with you it. You might like it. Uh, okay, fine. Just try a whole bite of it. I know, it's awful. <laughs> Ooh. Well, then I'll tell you Whoa. this corn is extremely bitter. No, it's not. It's hot! Yes, you didn't blow on it. Uh -huh. These are both quite good, yes. except for the spiciness. The corn cheese is great. There's a lot of black pepper in there. Wow, I hate corn. Oh, How? Man. What's wrong with corn? I hate corn. How? <laughs> Corey, if you and I combined our power, we would hate everything. Mm -hmm. True. I'm gonna try and eat one of these in a single bite. Do even it. though I can't handle the spice. It really isn't that bad. No, it tastes good. It's the spice that could This has in. been more of a problem for me because that cheese was so hot. This was spicy. This was physically, temperaturely. Yeah, but that won't cool down. This will have been hot. True. <laughs> oh, I want some more of the corn cheese. This is delicious. This is a delicious meal. I'm gonna get some water. Yeah. Final thoughts? Dump the corn cheese. Ow. My, my mouth, it hurts. But it tastes good. 10 out of 10. Corey, what do you think? Actually, 9 out of 10 because of the pain. 9 ah. out of 10. Corey, what do you think? Corn cheese, dump 7. 
four. I hate corn. This was very good. I heard bad stuff, like I said, about the rice cakes, but they're great. They just taste like gnocchi. The sauce is great. It tastes like goulash sauce. It's like paprika kind of thing. Delicious. Corn I cheese. I drink all the water, but I failed. Corn cheese, obviously very oh. good. It's just corn and cheese. Yeah, that's a lot of water. I would say this has been the greatest success so far. Greater than <laughs> Greater than I think that's Even greater one. than acid meringue pie. Did you re-earn? No. I wasn't here for that one. Alright, everyone. We're going to steal someone else's outro. On it is Yogi Kashi. Annyeong! And as always, enjoy. Where is he going? Wait, can we already do this? It just doesn't end. Go, 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 A youth cod sled. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> that says mod sled. How does it look? Come see. Take a picture. Truck. It's time for the Jeopardy round. Alexa, <laughs> volume five. The correct response was, who is Anthony Bourdain?